How's it going, Lad Legion? It's your boy Brad coming at you with another video. I know, I know, it's been two weeks since I've made a video, but you know what? Let's put that aside. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I know I am. Before this video starts, please make sure to hit that like button. If you don't hit that like button, no joke, no scam. Nikolai will come back from the dead and eat your parents. I don't make the rules, that's just how it's gotta be. If you don't like the video, Nikolai will come back. Anyway, guys, let's get right into this video and kind of already made a video, a zombies tribute video, but I thought this was much needed, kind of just close out all of my thoughts about zombies and really everything that's been going on. But I'm going to answer this question first. Do I think the zombie storyline is over? No. All of Ultimus, except for Ultimus Nikolai, is still alive, and hey, I don't remember who it was, but somebody said on one of my videos that Pablo was just a test subject and he would have nothing to do with it. Guess what, fuckers? I was right. I knew Pablo would have something to do with it. I'm not going to get into a whole bunch of theories. And speaking of theories, now my main theory on the zombie storyline, the one where they would have to get a giant device and they would kill Monty or the Shadow Man, I was kind of wrong with the way that they would actually do that. Now, I did believe I said in, when the crews would get the uh, stones for the staffs, I said they would go to Nuketown, I said they would go to Call of the Dead, but I also said they would go to Transit, and that's I think that's the only one we missed, because we got the one stone from Blood, we got the one from Tran- uh, not Transit, we got the one from Nuketown, we got whatever from Call of the Dead, I don't think we got a stone from either of those, to be honest. But we did end up going to those maps nonetheless, so that part of the theories was right. Now, the fact- now we did go to those maps, but the actual way that we ended it off was Nikolai activating a device, not the device that I thought it was going to be some Infinity Gauntlet type shit. He activated the device with some 115 in it that would act effectively destroy the multiverse, which would destroy the Dark Ether, the Ether, and the Infinite, which would completely destroy Monty, the Shadow Man, and whatever. And there is a lot of speculation that, oh, Shadow Man's still trapped in the Shadow Key, all the Ultimate Souls except for Nikolai's are still tra trapped in the Key summoning key and my thing with it is we see the summoning key kind of go kablooey in the end of the cutscene so i don't know if their souls got transferred somewhere else i don't know if they got destroyed with the summoning key that's kind of my guess is they actually got destroyed with the summoning key and if that is the case then that would mean that everybody except for samantha and little eddie is dead and with this information take it how you want to take it I don't think the storyline's ending since we still have two characters that we know of and I think Pablo still alive. I think Victus is completely wiped from history since they were in Call of the Dead when everything went down. And I know it's called Togger of Totes and I'm gonna keep calling it Call of the Dead because that's what I know the map by. I've been waiting for this map to get remastered forever lads. But anyways, I think that's going to be the end of the little theory theory sesh there where I talk about what I think is going to happen. And this is where I just, this is where the sad shit comes in. Now, if you guys know me, if you guys know my channel, if you know Zazu, if you know Ray Guns, if you know Audacity, Zombies is the thing that, that kind of brought us all together. I had no idea what to do with YouTube. I was making R6 videos, and I was good at making R6 videos, you know. I didn't really have much editing skills, so they were kind of trash. And I would, so I would just make our six videos and I'd play with it and I thought, I thought they were really good. One of which is actually like my second most viewed on my channel, but I wasn't really happy with the content that I was pushing. I wasn't happy with the content that I was putting out there. So as many of you know, I stopped and if you don't know the reason why I stopped, I will put that video linked in the description. It's a very sad video, so watch at your own discretion. Anyways, when I came back to like the YouTube game, to the, uh, just creator game i was went on twitter i was just looking for an org to join because i heard that orgs are a good idea to join if it's a good one at least and you can meet a lot of new people push your videos out there get more views on them and i wasn't really finding any orgs that i would enjoy a lot of them were call of duty sniping things and for those of you that don't know i don't snipe and i don't play multiplayer for like competitive reasons. I do snipe and play Call of Duty multiplayer for, on my own time for fun reasons. The only games that I really play competitively is CSGO and even then I haven't played that in such a long time. And then I saw zombie squads come around and so I decided, you know what, I'll, I'm gonna try to join zombie squads. And I did and I saw this guy Ray Guns put a video, I think it was either in the zombie squads chat or I saw that he got retweeted by zombie squads. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna check him out. And this was around the time when I made my very first theory video on YouTube for zombies and that's the one where I talk about the end of the zombie storyline. Anyways, me and Ray Guns or Austin decided to actually start, we, we talked a bit and we were talking about zombies and when I joined zombie squads and when I was talking to 
ray guns. That's what opened me up to Live Audacity, Zazu, Caleb, Soulbound, and whoever else I'm missing. I know I'm missing a ton of people, but you all know who you are if I am talking about you. And yes, even though ZS did have a pretty, pretty harsh end to it, all the people that I've met from it helped me grow a lot more. Me and Tyler, I still talk to him a sometimes, like maybe once a month, I'll comment on one of his Twitter posts and he's like, hey, how you doing, man? But I just, without the zombies community in general, I don't think my channel would be anywhere. Yes, I am still a very small creator, and do I see this really going anywhere in the future? Like, million subs, do do do. By the way that I've been growing, I really don't think I'd ever hit 1 million. I think the most I'd probably hit would be 1k plus. And yeah, so without the zombies community, without the help of all these great people that I have met, without the zombies game in general, 10 plus years of just zombie grinding, storyline grinding, I would not be where I am today with all the great people that I am surrounded by. Yes, we do have our arguments sometimes because uh, some people refuse to believe that the Cowboys are better than their own team. So without ranting or just going on about saying the same thing 20 times like I tend to do most of the time in a lot of my videos, I'm just going to end it here and say thank you. Thank all of you for everything that you have done for me. Thank you, f Zombies Community. Thank you, Treyarch. I'm not going to go through a long list. You guys know who you are if I am talking about you again. And yeah, this is the end of an era, boys. It's been fun. Does this mean I'm going to stop making content? No. I know I haven't been posting in a while. I know that my channel has been kind of dead for a couple weeks. And that's because work. <laughs> I'm working 40 hours a week and going to high school, so just uploading a constant schedule is getting difficult. I might have to push it to maximum of three videos a week. And I do plan on making podcasts. Porter's X2 is back, baby! So, yeah, that's probably going to be the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy, please drop a like, subscribe for more content. I do have another Honest Game review coming out in the next couple of days. Peace. I've been wishing for some better days. Could you listen? No, oh, I can you stay?